Hey you guys, what's up? It's Anime Blaze coming to you with another video, that is right. And in this particular video, it's going to be another episode of Blaze Talks. And in case you guys are new to my channel and have no idea what the heck Blaze Talks is all about, let me explain. Uh, Blaze Talks is where I take any given topic, mostly dealing with anime or manga, and give you guys, uh, you know, sit on the idea for a while, and then give you guys my full thoughts and opinions on, you know, what may have been going through my mind, in video format so you guys can you know get the gist of where I'm going so if you guys have read the title correctly uh, you know that this episode of blaze talks is going to be about being yourself now I um, it's not since this is an anime channel this I am gonna be bringing up some anime topics and stuff but it's not just gonna be about anime because this is something that could uh, range from you know high school middle school, elementary, whatever, to your day-to-day -day life that you may be going about, you know, going to work, going outside, meeting with friends, meeting new people, whatever. Um, this is something that I really want to talk about. Um, I talked about it on my vlogging channel with my own personal experiences, what I went through with my own life, and uh, I'll be linking that in um, annotation. So, <laughs> um, being yourself, why is it important to be yourself in life? First of all, uh, you got to think about it on a scale of like, I guess, seeing it on a, a different front, seeing it in somebody else's shoes. When you go out and meet somebody or you're meeting a new friend or something like that, or somebody, your friend introduces you to someone, something like that. Would you, how would you like it if you met that person and all of a sudden um, you find out what they, what they, their persona that they give out to you when you first meet them winds up being totally different as time goes on. How would you feel about that? I know I wouldn't like it. So, like, let's say that, um, I don't know. Like, you're really into sports, right? Let's say you're really into, like, really sports, like basketball, football, baseball, hockey, whatever. You're really into it, and your friend introduces you to somebody, and, uh, you know, you go and meet them. You're like, oh, what's up? You know, you like... You're like, hey, you like sports? Like, yeah, yeah, and y'all start talking. And then months later, you find out that the person knows absolutely nothing about sports. That would be kind of a letdown, right? The person wasn't being themselves, and you guys have to start over from the beginning, finding a common ground, not dealing with sports, because he lied and put out a fake persona of who he was. Now, reason why we give out, um, well, reason why you might put out a fake persona is because you want to fit in, you want to fit in with a group of people, and you want to be able to have a common ground, even if it is false, it's a sense of uh, security, and I think that pretty much lies within human nature, we want to fit in with other people that we might have a difference with. Now, the problem with, um, one of the problems that you might have come across with not being yourself is the fact that when you're not being yourself, you have to fit in with every single group. And you're you're putting on a, I guess you're putting on the persona of somebody else's happiness, I would say. In in my own mind, that's what I'm thinking. And when you put on that persona of being your fake self, realize that you have to you have to keep it on. You can't fall out of character. You have to be that person who you say you are. And think about it in the sense of a relationship. If you guys don't think about, if you guys aren't necessarily into dating, or if you're thinking about getting into a relationship, whatever, it's just you know reference here. Um, you go out and you meet somebody. You, you're like, wow, that person looks good. I really want to talk to them, meet them. Let's say you falsify your information and you pretend that you're somebody you're definitely not. Well, as relationships sometimes do, those that relationship may not just be a short-term relationship, it may turn into something of a long-term relationship. And, well, with long-term relationships, you, you know, you have to keep it up. Think about it. False, being somebody who you're not, putting on a false persona, if that does turn into a long-term relationship, you have to keep up that persona for months. Months. And I would hate to be the person to find out that you're not who you say you are, especially with interests and things that might not be into and stuff like that, or things you might be into. I would not falsify that information at all. Uh, that's I'd hate to be the person to find out, and 
I'd hate to be you in that situation. So always be yourself, guys. Never pretend to be somebody you're not. Nobody likes that kind of stuff. And <clears throat> and I'll tell you guys a little short story from my own perspective here. Now, um, well, how should I say this? When I was in high school around my junior or senior year, there was this girl in my class that, you know, she kind of fit in with the in crowd, I guess you could call it. And she knew everybody. Everybody was cool with her. Everybody knew her or whatever. You know, you know how it goes. And one thing that I thought was funny was one day I, I came across her in the library. And I even saw her in class one time. Uh, this happened like twice, I think. Um, I'll talk about the time in the library. I was, came across her in the library, the section with the, the manga section and stuff like that. You know, I came across her. I walked up to her. I said, hey. I like, oh, hey, what's up? I didn't know you were into manga. Uh, oh, that's uh, that's it's not manga. I don't. I'm not interested. In, you know, it's it's. I was like, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Just keep moving. <laughs> and you see what I'm saying, right? And in that aspect, you have to ask yourself, or at least I had to ask myself, who is it that she's hanging out with that she can't uh, be herself around, that she can't read or be interested in manga or whatever anime, and like just sit at a group, like around a group of people, and actually be interested in that stuff. Now, as I've stated before, I'm not the kind of person to like yell at the top of the uh, you know top of the mountains like I like anime and all stuff like that. But at the same time, if somebody asked me like, "Hey, you're an anime and manga?" Heck yeah, that's what I'm. That's me because I'm not going to fake and I'm not going to risk my happiness to live somebody else's life. And that's something I really think that people should should know, man, and should learn. Like, think of, like I said, think about in her situation. Who is she hanging out with that she can't read manga around and that even for somebody, like a random person to walk up to or, well, not really random because I actually know her, uh, for just somebody you know to walk up to you and be like, hey, I didn't know you were into that. Oh, no, I'm, you have to put up a front that you aren't interested in it and that you never did have an interest in it. That is kind of dumb and kind of stupid. Um, either... Uh, either she has to keep up an image to be around the people that she's with or she just doesn't want to be herself. She wants to be somebody else. And that's something I want you guys to pick up on today that I want you guys to, no matter what anybody says about you, to live your life to your full potential. Because let me tell you guys something for anybody who um, anybody who's out of high school and uh, a few of the people I met on YouTube are. Um, <clears throat> or if you're just now going into high school or you're nervous about, uh, you know, different, like, sticky, nerdy situations like uh, anime, manga, cartoons, uh, animation, or just comic books or anything like that. Let me tell you guys something that when you graduate, even if you, even though they try, let me say it like this. If you're in high school, you're going into it, that people will try to paint a picture and make it seem like it really is a big deal that, you have to be within these specific groups in order to be cool and do, do different stuff like that. All I got to say to that, guys, is fuck that. Be your own person. Be your own social group. Do what you want to do because at the end of the day, you got you have two things you have to live for. If you live by society standards of happiness, you're going to be uh, diving into every single trend, every single thing that society wants you to do. And guess what? Society is split up into different groups because... What one group of people might like, another group of people might ostrac uh, like ostracize you for and hate you for it. So, be yourself. If you're not, you know, if you're not hurting anybody, you're not, you know, like freaking stabbing somebody or uh, robbing somebody or something like that. Then you, there's nothing wrong with your hobby at all. What you're doing, the people in high school will try to make it seem like it's a big deal, and it really isn't. And especially outside of high school, let me tell you guys something. None of that actually matters at all. And if you ever come across, when you graduate high school and if you ever come across somebody who's still living by that high school mentality, don't even pay attention to them. They're living a sorry, sad existence because real life, in real life, man, being on a football team does not pay you money unless you're playing professionally. Um, you know, being cool in high school won't actually get you a job. And yeah, I know the whole thing go hey, it's about who you know, not what you know. But at the same time, in that aspect, educate yourself, you know? Do do things, you know? Be yourself. Don't let society try to dictate who you are. And just be yourself, man. If you're not hurting anybody and what you're doing, what you're doing isn't 
you know, harming anyone, then do you. Forget what everybody else has to say. And yes, I'm still a living person, you know, in progress and stuff like that. But hey, life goes on. Make mistakes, uh, learn from them, you know, and move on. So with that being said, this is the Anime Blade signing out saying never doubt your capabilities and uh, because you never know what you might be able to do, especially in this situation, guys. Uh, never doubt what you can do because especially in this situation, man, it's like no one really cares. At the end of the day, they might try to make it seem like you're a big deal, like it's a big deal to be this and that. It really isn't. Just do you. Uh, anyways, I'll be signing out saying, uh, you know, I'll be catching whatever may be happening that I decide to do next. Later.